So we are flashing the BIOS. Um, so this is using Gigabyte's Q flash ability. And anyways, so when I plugged in with the Ryzen, the new uh, Ryzen uh, 5000 series, it didn't detect it. And so if you format the drive in such a way, you plug it into this special USB port, then you press the little button. Uh, for it, it will blink fast when it's preparing the flash it'll blink slow, which is what it's doing right now. This is the slow blink. This is actually, it's actually flashing it right now. So it's in the process of doing it. Now you're supposed to do it like without any CPU installed, any RAM installed, any graphics card installed. Um, but I read online that people have done it with things installed, it works fine. So obviously you can see I had everything hooked up. I didn't really want to strip it down. So we're just hoping for the best. So the LED stopped blinking and then the fan spun up so really fast and now they sort of slow down but they're definitely on uh where before they were not so i think it like restarted because it even got the power supply fan to trip for a bit now it's off again but the cpu and gpu fan are going it's kind of in an on state so i'm not actually sure i may well, i may plug in and see if we can get a uh, video signal but it seems like it did complete the BIOS update stopped flashing and such, uh, and so hopefully that was successful. Okay, so it finished, like the LED stopped blinking, fan sort of on like an on state, uh, and so I plugged back in you know, the monitor, keyboard and such, but there's still no video output, like there was nothing. So I waited, 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 uh, nothing happened, nothing changed, so it seemed like, you know, there's no blinking, so it finished. So what I did is I shut it down, uh, I, I held the power button uh, and then it, you know, I, I held it for a long time and then it shut down. I turned off the power just to make sure like full power recycle. I unplugged the flash drive that I had for the BIOS um, and then I turned it back on and we have output. So um, yeah, this is good. This is progress. Now I wanted a boot device so I plugged in a different drive and a different port for, that has my Windows 10 installer. Um, but really I want to get into the BIOS before I do this anyway, so I may need to reboot again to catch the BIOS uh, point um, in the boot cycle, which is probably what I need to do. That's what we want to see. So uh, reboot it, you know, kind of uh, mashed on the delete key because uh, it is really quick before to catch the BIOS before it tries to boot. And then so now we're in and yeah, the BIOS has been reset which obviously, because we did the Q flash and it's uh, now a new version. Um, but uh, yeah, we have mouse, keyboard support. And awesome. So there we can see BIOS version F11N. That's the newest one. That's what I flashed with uh, the little USB drive. And now it does see Ryzen 5 5600. So it worked and uh looks like we're in good shape um now i put a little more i think thermal paste than i meant to so i'm a little concerned but let's see so it's idling at 36. i guess that's good i guess that's normal so we'll have to watch that 40 that seems pretty good Okay, right. We I just want to turn that off. Oh yeah, so we have Yeah, this is my USB drive that has my Windows 10 installer on it. This is my solid state drive. I'm gonna leave that disabled while we install the operating system. We can turn that on later. Well, there's the Windows logo, and I can see, cool, we booted off the drive. So we're in business. We're gonna install Windows 10 and uh, check it out. And then we uh, unwrap the antenna. So this is the Wi-Fi antenna, uh, Wi-Fi 6, the gigabyte motherboard. So we just need to attach those here. So this thing moves. It sort of rests at a different, some different notches. So you want it in the middle, and then you can peel off this. 
it goes just a little bit, but then, uh, yeah, it comes out. Because otherwise, it's, it's good. Uh, 